Robots one step closer to world domination. Moore's law has been extended a couple more years. You can now feel things in virtual reality. Google protecting you from phishing sites and Microsoft wants ads on your lock screen. These are today's bits. Engineers from Oregon State University just tested out a new bipedal robot that walks just like a human. Actually, it kind of walks better than a human. It doesn't get off balance from uneven terrain, and it even get, doesn't get phased by balls being thrown at its face. Even better, it's three times more energy efficient than anything equivalent, meaning that you'll have a harder time trying to outrun it as soon as it decides to turn against you. You can check out the video here and take notes on what your defensive strategy is going to be when that time comes. While we're on the topic of other videos, you should also check out this hilarious video from Tim Russ, aka Tuvok, from Star Trek Voyager as he trolls Star Wars fans everywhere. Oh yeah, may the 4th be with you. You know, one day late. Moore's Law, that awesome thing that says processing power will double every two years, has slowly been coming to a halt because, well, we're hitting a physical limitation of size for transistors. Well, now scientists have come up with a three atom thick solution that could give us another two years of performance improvements. Initially, this is being geared towards smaller devices that are more power efficient, but ultimately it should be capable of boosting anything with a processor in it. Check out the link in the description for more of the juicy details, and I can tell you there's a lot of it to read. I bet you've been wondering why Microsoft has seemingly been so generous over this whole Windows 10 thing. I mean, giving away free upgrades to anybody with Windows 7, even to the pirates, it all just seems a little bit too good to be true. Well, it makes sense when you think about how they could just build a new operating system to support advertising right on your lock screen. In a build conference, Microsoft revealed a new concept that basically evolves over time as you use your computer, and then it pushes notifications directly to your lock screen. At first, they make it seem like it's going to help people by giving you know, reminders for events that you may not want to miss, or maybe tell you to pay a bill. Then they show a lock screen that basically has a pop-up style ad on it. Really, this kind of opens up a whole new level of intrusion for advertisers. I mean, not only are they given access to all the data that Microsoft collected to improve your experience, but they're also going to be able to basically buy their way into your life before you even have a chance to load up your own browser. But hey, let's be honest here. If this does roll out as badly as it seems like it's going to be, it won't be long until somebody finds a way to block the crap out of it and then sell you a program to do so. Speaking of Windows 10, Microsoft is actually killing off Windows Media Center too. Now, I know that all five of you out there that actually use the thing are going to be a little sad, but come on, it's been like 13 years. It's time. One last side note for Microsoft, on Monday morning they opened up a preview build for their new Office 2016. So now you can go and download it and test out everything for them for free of charge. It may or may not contain a keylogger though, because, well, Microsoft. Link in the description. Have you seen Tesla's new battery system? Well, just in case it's the first time you've been on the internet in the last week, Elon Musk has revealed a badass new battery that mounts on your wall and acts as a UPS for your entire house. For now, you have a couple consumer grade options, a 7 kilowatt or a 10 kilowatt that will cost you $3,000 or $3,500. Totally worth it if you ask me. This thing is badass. It can be set to draw power when power is cheaper, like at night for some places. It can charge from solar panels, protect you from temporary power outages, or even sell power back to the electric company. Of course, the price is going to make it take a while before you actually see any of the savings that you invested. But one can only hope that the batteries themselves don't actually go bad before you start to see those savings. Then again, if you happen to live in an area where you have frequent short-term power outages or maybe you have solar panels, this thing could really do some good for you. The best part is they offer larger commercial grade solutions that give you way more power. You can even stack the consumer grade versions if you want to. That, and it can also charge your Tesla car if you, know, you actually happen to have one of those. New gloves have been developed that allow you to fill objects in virtual reality. Some engineering students from Rice University have designed gloves that actually apply pressure to your hands as you touch something. They're basically using small airbags on the fingertips that give you feelings, so you won't actually have any real resistance when you grab something. Still, coupled with the virtual environment, it's enough to make your brain think that it's actually filling up on something, like boobs. I mean, gaming stuff. You know, just, just meant for games. Last but not least, Google is stepping it up to try to protect you, the consumer, from phishing sites. Phishing with a PH. If you don't know what a phishing site is, then you are the primary reason for this type of software. Called Password Alert, this new Google Chrome extension will warn you if you start to type in your password into a fake login site. It's only meant to protect you from giving out your Google password, so you're still going to need to watch out for other phishing sites. 
As always, if you enjoyed this video, please click the little like button below. And if you want to hear more, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, you're still here. Well, hmm. How about a random fact? Did you know that there's a species of fish called slippery dick? Seriously, you should Google it.